Hello, I'm Tom Colville, and I'd like to show you this wonderful Winslow Homer watercolor on the wall behind me here called Orange Trees and Gate in Nassau from 1885. Uh, Homer came to uh, Nassau in December of 1884 with his father, uh, his first trip to the Caribbean uh, on a commission from Century Magazine that was going to do an article on Nassau. Nassau was becoming a popular tourist attraction uh, at that time. And this watercolor has a freshness and spontaneity that combines Homer's discovery of the Caribbean and his mastery of the watercolor technique at this time. Helen Cooper has pointed out in her 1986 uh, exhibition of Homer watercolors in the National Gallery that Homer now was using watercolor for spontaneous, uh, aesthetic, sensitive, graphic uh, imagery and saved the heavier medium of oil for these uh, paintings of the sea and storms and the battle of uh, humans against the elements. But here he is enjoying the color, the vegetation, the climate uh, that he just discovers in, uh, in Nassau in, uh, on his first trip. If you look at the way this is painted, uh, there's some wonderful little details that reveal how Homer did it. For example, the little or the oranges hanging off the tree here show you with the shadow that it was the sun was directly overhead uh, about one o'clock in the afternoon, and he was probably sitting. Uh, down under the shade of his tree with his easel painting this at, at eye level. He later did, actually on the same, at the same moment, uh, a watercolor just of these oranges. And you can see that from his reaction that here is a, a northerner who just came out of uh, Prout's Neck in the dead of winter, and then he discovers this tropical paradise with oranges growing out of this uh, limestone soil under the bright sun. Uh, he captures the brilliant white of the gate here by just allowing the white paper to show. And then the pooled color here in the in the trees and oranges, he takes just far enough to give you the density of it, but it does not uh, become muddy or overdone. Uh, Homer exhibited this picture upon his return, and it received both um, critical acclaim, so he thought highly of it. And it's in a marvelous state of, of preservation that adds to the freshness of this concept.